Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies. Four men only. Permanent dark events on top of it just to make it a little bit harder because everything else wasn't hard enough. And we are in month number six, seven. Uh, just defeated uh, the shutdown of uh, the first Chosen. We successfully fenced that off. So we are in a somewhat stable position. If I can prevent the Avatar project from fin uh, finalizing, that's great. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the ability to just sneak into a facility with a solo Reaper and uh, effectively ignore that mechanic completely. We don't have Reapers. We only have rookies and to make matters worse uh, there is an extremely powerful and dangerous alien guarding this location that's a nicer way of saying the alien uh, berserker queen is in there uh, we'll bring a aaron and jerenks uh, level 3 bond mates for this uh, very difficult mission and hopefully grell and universe find a way of uh, setting up the spark between them uh, starting to love one another that would be great. Uh, we got a couple of anti-alien ruler weapons, uh, bolt uh, gun for once, uh, that will hopefully help us to just uh, shoot her down. These are perfect missions because we're not time in a timed mission and the only real disadvantage is that this here loses a lot of momentum. But if you, if you play it in a non-timed mission, it's actually a quite uh, reasonable weapon. So um, for that, we are bringing it with us. We do have the frozen option of uh, the serpent suit and we got a frost bomb as well i was contemplating whether or not i'll just put mind shields on everyone but number one i don't have the money and number two eh, we might run into something that requires blue screen rounds i get the feeling that after seeing that first sector put out there hunting season is now officially on which means we have to deal with uh, the biggest of enemies and quite frankly i don't know how to do that yet we killed two sector pods, but we had 10 men to do that this year is straight up way 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 more difficult let's jump into it okay and we're landing this is a non-timed mission so i can keep it cool and easy there is no need to charge in Menace one five. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the unfortunately we didn't get a double agent this is the one mission where i wouldn't have minded getting one we're seeing a couple of enemies this year shield bearer by the way is a very nice enemy of one out of three to four uh, sector pods accomplices uh, uh, so that often they oftentimes are together with a sector pod trying to aggressively uh, scout but not too aggressive I'm still waiting for high ground somewhere Could this here be high ground? Likely not. Moving to designated position. On my way. Okay, I'm just trying to scout the area at this point. There's some potential high ground which I think we should take. I've just seen stomping. That's affirmative. That creates a very real suspicion that we're going to fight against the sector pod. Got it. Moving. On the move. Which then again means either the sector pod the or the alien queen will need to be fought without shredding them completely. Unless of course we can use an explosion or something like that. our advantage affirmative moving out moving up uh, 
Can't really see anything in the background. I was hoping we could use one of the longer uh, one of uh, the visions. Sometimes, if the camera like uh, gives you gives you a clear line of sight and gets rid of the fog of war unintentionally, and I figured that might be the case just to get some more info about what's happening. An avalanche jet has crash landed here. Look, the one thing that we could do is basically one-shot the Viper. Uh, the bolt can't be dodged. And that should be a kill. It's into cover. Is this your blue screen rounds? Yes, it is. That's affirmative. We're standing in the open, but that's okay. I don't think the Codex will survive. I think I got Famous last words, right? I don't think that this Codex will survive. And then you are missing a shot. Good job, Psych. And that's how it's done. Two down. And now it's time to position ourselves nicely up here. Roger that. Ready to go. Moving out. Moving. Let's stand adjacent to one another for the uh, for those sweet sweet bony. And a bit of overwatch. I think we're just going to do a couple of rounds of overwatch traps here. Orders confirmed. On the move. Okay, that's the border of the map. Moving, to designated Moving just so that we're not standing too close together for the grenades. Uh, we're not reloading because we got outloaders. Nice, fantastic hit. That's a pack of two. And there's the next pack, so no need to get in and close. Repeater. Back online. We don't have a stock, but that's okay. Drank starts. Thirty-six percent. Ah, we're not going to use. No, 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 no. We're not going to use any form of cover removal here. Not good. Hair trigger. I'd rather use a mimic beacon. Or one of our advanced teamworks, just in case. Miss. 
still not happening. Come on. Alright. He's likely going to retreat, so this could have been a waste, but the Mimic Beacons are mainly there in order to prevent taking damage. So let's do exactly that, prevent some damage. Uh, all of the cooldowns are supposed to be used later. No, I will hate myself if I'm using a cooldown now. This is not how it's supposed to be played. It is not. Let's try to get this guy down. I want to keep the other Mimic Beacon. Problem is the poison gobble. Uh, the acid gobble. Uh, there are a lot of problems with this situation. What are we going to do? Am I going to use Frostbite just to control him for one round? But then the Berserker Queen could only be controlled with the Thermal Bomb. Well, of course, and the Bolt Caster. It's suboptimal. No matter how you slice and dice it, unless we get a nice little... Unless we get a nice little execute, it's that's not going to go so well. So what's the cooldown that we could... Really miss out on without causing a problem. Potentially, potentially the frostbite. Okay, that solves this encounter. It's not great. I'm not happy. bit closer Good. let's start to hit the this andromedon at least frozen works fully against it so it will actually be out of commission for now Yes, low cover. Orders confirmed on the move. Moving to here. That arm is tough. Rock and roll. Reload. Okay, so far so good. Blue screen rounds and do we have blue screen rounds here as well? We do. See, on a high level, XCOM becomes more and more and more like a puzzle that you need to solve 
And those cooldowns are jokers that you could tr um, trigger once in a while just to get you out of a messy or unsolvable situation. What you need to understand though is if you are using your jokers and once they're gone, it's really, 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 really difficult uh, to solve the remaining puzzles, right? to here just in case I don't want to I want to take any acid damage reloading reloading overwatching and overwatch but we're just going to uh, wait through this see you gotta be careful there's always that little trick that XCOM's engine is trying to play on you Our bit of high ground is now completely marginalized. I think we can't hope for the enemy to, to just run into us, right? That's not going to happen. Alright, I'll give it a couple more turns and we'll fast forward that. If something happens, I will show it to you. Good, nothing major happened. Just moved the line a little bit to the front. After okay. about six or seven turns of Overwatch crawl, we're still exactly where we have left off. Moving a bit closer. Good. Do we have other high ground? No, not right here. Affirmative. Covering Got covered. I'm on it. On overwatch. They are protecting the the perimeter, and we really have to make sure that we're not just rushing in. All of this is half cover. I hate that position here. And we're getting closer to the actual target. Yes, well. Now we do have a problem. Not the most prudent of choices. Love it. Okay, we... Can't let her get get away with that. Okay, my decision is firm. We'll fight the sector port without shredding. But she certainly needs to die. Come on, double shot. That's a good hit. Yep, we're in trouble. right reaction is 
impale that bitch. No! <laughs> There's the slam. Panic resisted. Yes. 62%. Where we go when you got that shot? Come on. Stunned for four rounds. I should have brought the mine shields. Reload is not an option. Let's try again. Good. She's trying to open a gate. We're ending our turn because that will not let her flee, but I will get one more shot. Ah, never mind. She would have fled either way because I would have needed to reload. Didn't have anything else. Good, on the upside we have just defeated her. On the downside... We're down to three operatives. Got one Mimic Beacon, that's pretty much it. Bit of advanced teamwork, so unless we're executing that sector pod, it's not going to happen. But maybe it wasn't a sector pod, maybe it's just a normal pack and the Andromedon was uh, was stomping. That is also possible. I will say though uh, that there is a good chance we will need to evac that. Anyways, I got another appointment now. I will come back to that after the appointments are done. Uh, for you, no time will pass. Let's see how the rest of this mission is going to play out. All right, and I'm back. Good. Can we do this with three? That's a fantastic question. One that needs to be answered. We got a Mimic Beacon ready. And we got the team ready over here. We know there's at least one more pack. Let's sincerely hope it's not going to be one with a sector pod. Alright, we got a super heavy turret. Shall we move up? No, I think we shall should not. Let's instead just get out of line of sight here. Moving to position. Heading out. On Overwatch. Good again, Overwatch. Tower can't do anything if we're not in his range. There's an open door, so someone or something moved out of uh, this door. That was a miss. Unfortunate. I do not want to waste any of our advanced teamwork uh, features. We're instead going... Shot wide. Hmm. Mimic beacon or not mimic beacon? We're okay on a health side. Everybody could take one hit. Yeah, let's try to hit this one and get it down. All right, that's a miss. We're good.
This might trigger the pack inside. Don't need to do that either. Although I like the high ground, so it's a bit of a trade-off. Now we're trying to hit this uh, thing straight up. It's still moving. Again, not a hit. That one worked, and we'll just bring the corpse with uh, the unconscious exco member with us. Picking up the unit. Overwatch, Overwatch, and we're fine. Good, putting her down. So far, things are still working out well. We gotta reload. And potentially get into that kind of third position over here. Good, not optimal, but we're we're just hanging on for now. Given that we only have three, maybe we should wait uh, with an Overwatch trap. We really need a good hit or some sort of starting advantage against them. We know that they are there. It's just a matter until they finally start to move, right? Give it a few more turns. It's likely not a sectopod, which is the good news. Because typically we would have seen that part of the structure is damaged when there is a sector port. Doesn't mean it isn't, it's just uh, the signs aren't there. Walls are not destroyed. Sector ports tend to just run amok when they are in those buildings. Okay, another pickup. Okay, so far so good. Maybe someone else needs to carry her because our mimic beacon is on this unit, so it is a not so smart idea. Universe needs to be able to cover with a mimic beacon if push comes to shove. Could take the high ground. They are in there, and I'm pretty sure by now it's only one pack that is left. Affirmative. Moving out. Let's... If we were to move to here... We could jump in and take high ground. Not the worst idea. And Jarenks is staying behind for now. The only one that is potentially in one shot range at this point.
is confirmed. On the move. Nothing. Okay. Carrying. Moving, to designated position. Moving into full cover. And let's drop her down. Good. This is a zone where we could evac. Okay, I do have an idea. Hmm. Hmm. We can get just a tiny bit closer. We could move in, drop down. Um, hack. Do the advanced teamwork and get out of there in one turn. I think we're going to try that. Sometimes not fighting is better than fighting. Okay. Wish me luck, boys. Nasty, nasty sectopod. I was so wrong. Well, we can plant the C4. Menace one five. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Need an evac. Now, here's the trick, right? We use our great grappling hook to then jump out. Didn't even need the uh, mm, the support. And let's carry this unit. Very nice. There we go. Joke's on you guys. Joke is on you. Sometimes you gotta have the killer instinct to just get it done under all circumstances. Doesn't matter that it wasn't uh, pretty. Doesn't matter that it wasn't clean. That pack would have completely wiped uh the the floor with us the mimic beacon would have helped but effectively we would have had just a few shots and that's about it so sometimes just grappling out of uh, the misery is the better choice and look at that even the unconscious ones are getting back to consciousness universe is back and did we get it from... Yeah, finally. There we go. Bond. Great. Good job. Grell and Universe are now a pair. The destruction of this facility marks an important step towards the total elimination of the Avatar Project, Commander. Good. Good. Commanded. Very good. We also stopped the Avatar Project from continuing. At least for now. And I think we'll just wait those two days. Avengers Finish the Illyrium uh, and uh, Alloy scan. Then we need to get all of our income, which would be at 1,300 uh, beginning of next month.
message coming through. Very good. Putting it on screen now. Decent. <laughs> well, we got uh, him summoning what I think will be Berserkers and Chrysalids. She's almost ready to invade us. Two more months. Sabotage, reduction, and what's his deal? Additional dark event. Well, fent please, not loyal, uh, undying loyalty. We got to reduce this one here. This is a no, no, no. Undying loyalty is the worst. It is the worst. I will even play a protect uh, the device mission. I don't want to deal with that. It is horrible. This is also bad, but this is... Well, it's beyond bad. Uh, forget again to increase our resistance uh, contacts. So all we're going to do is psionics yet again. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Great, fantastic. Unfortunately, no breakthrough. Archonautopsy is the next logical thing, so that we can get the plasma lands. Something exciting about working under the more intense conditions found on the Avenger. Every decision, every... Fantastic. Icarus armor. Is done, so we got two cores, and I would like to continue... Well... Hmm. Experimental powered weapon is what we would need, but we need money for that. So for now, we're waiting. Strategic resource located. We don't need more alien alloys. Hmm. What I will say, though, is I would like to see if we can invest Intel. First of all, we need to get it, but... If we could, no, something is rigged here again. Laser sights, auto loader, hair triggers, and then the only thing that they offer is superior perception. This is this is some next level rigging. Wow, such bad luck. Good. Got some extra income. Let's spend that extra income to get experimental powered weapons. Because we can really use those. <coughs> Next up, we get money. And then let's expand here. And hopefully soon we can make contact to New India and get technical analysis as the continent bonus. But for that, we will need we actually will need Intel, so data pets and uh, Intel as mission rewards would be great. All negative traits removed, that is good news. X is the next one with negative trait removal. And look, so far we're doing well, okay? It's all going forward. Not according to plan, because we're still uh, now facing almost unbeatable opponents. But yeah, we're doing reasonably well. I have already learned a great deal about your methods, Commander. And soon I will reclaim you. Good. Intel will be the next resource that where, where we will need to think about how to get it we historically got it via data pads but we haven't received any influx for a quite a bit of time 
And now we got an ambush. I'll just play that uh, off camera real quick and uh, we're resuming afterwards. We've seen quite a number of those and really all I'm doing is I will use the high ground run uh, there, use the mimic beacon to not get shot and then get out of there. Um, that, that'll be fine. Okay, see you in a second. All right, we are back. So nothing of importance happens with the exception of one uh, thing which I should have uh, captured. We got ourselves a superior scope uh, as loot. That indeed was good. Uh, Andromedon uh, dropped it and we're now ready to go. So that was good. Let's take a look at uh, the new missions. I wanted to do that together with you guys. So I, as you can see, new. I haven't looked into that yet. Uh, can't do that. Can't do that. Uh, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Uh, can't do that because increased combat intelligence is not allowed and hmm. okay so this entire month I won't be able to do a single mission because the only mission that I could do here doesn't allow to deploy rookies okay hmm Yeah, that sucks. I don't know what to say. Uh, it uh, truly is not so great. The 10 dodge on Roby were fantastic, but that really wasn't working very well. Got an engineer and 102 intel. So that is an actual VIP rescue with a lot of uh, intel at our stake. That's great. We will need to uh, do this mission. Plus, um, we actually need to win this mission. Elsewise, our continent bonus for immediate contacts would be gone. And we can't let that happen. Um, so this is actually a high stake mission. No excuses on that one. But I feel confident that we should be able to, to do that. Avenger plotting new course. Flying over there. The Intel would be enough to continue making contact, which isn't too bad. Also, we could get another scientist, which I don't think we really need, but who knows i mean maybe maybe okay good that brings us to the end of today's episode uh, a lot happened and i feel we're still in a decent place might as well want to empty this resistance ring for now and help with excavating we got a lot of materials that would be working in our favor Plasma grenades aren't bad, but we're not using them, so... Instead, let's really get those super heavy... Super heavy experimental weapons going. And having zero cores isn't bad either, because that allows us to hopefully get more cores dropped during the missions. Uh, and then get better experimental power weapon. Uh, we will maybe sink like six or seven cores into it so that we really get our two three blaster launchers and maybe one shred storm cannon uh, which could i could imagine um, is an end game ish uh, loadout for our team all right this brings us to the end of today's episode leave a comment down below i appreciate your support smash the like button like good old hulk does it and see you in the next episode bye bye